Hey, welcome back in our devotional this morning. We're at 1 Samuel 21, and we're at verses 10 to 15. Let's read it out and think about it, and then we'll pray together. Then David arose and fled that day from before Saul and went to Ashish, the king of Gath. And the servants of Ashish said to him, Is this not David, the king of the land? Did they not sing of him to one another in dances, saying, Saul has slain his thousands and David his ten thousands? Now David took these words to heart and was very much afraid of Ashish, the king of Gath. So he changed his behavior before them, pretended madness in their hands, scratched on the doors of the gate, and let his saliva fall down on his beard. Then Ashish said to his servants, Look, you, you see, the man is insane. Why have you brought him to me? Have I need of madmen? that you have brought this fellow to play the madman in my presence? Shall this fellow come into my house? All right, so that's the end of the chapter. Now, David here goes, and he's going to, uh, it's kind of strange, strange thinking. Maybe he was uh, not thinking well. He's looking for some place to be, some place where he can, he can do something and live his life. Uh, probably going to the Philistines wasn't his best uh, play at this point. God worked through David and totally humiliated the Philistines, and David has killed Hundreds, thousands, thousands, many thousands of Philistines. So going to the Philistines really might not have been a, a, a big uh, direct, the, the direction God had for him. And so David goes there, and pretty soon he figures out that I am in danger of my life. I've made a big mistake here. Uh, I'm in big, big trouble. And so David uh, begins to feign madness. And so that is what saves him. Uh, he's, he feigns madness, and they kind of treat him like a fool, and they throw him out of there as a fool. But you know, it's interesting that nobody nobody thought, well, I'm going to kill this guy. Uh, very interesting. But David was afraid of that. David didn't know what they would do or not do. So David is going to escape with his life. He plays the madman, but David made a mistake. This wasn't a God mistake. This was a David mistake. David is relying on his own uh, wisdom. He isn't consulting God enough. If Yes, it's true. His whole life is, is discombobulated because he kind of has to leave his home. He's, he's messed up. He doesn't quite know what to do. He makes a wrong decision here. Some people have this idea that, you know, unless we're perfect, unless, unless we uh, completely do everything just exactly right, well, God just kind of frowns at us and uh, says, boy, what, what, a, what a disappointing person that is. The fact is that we make mistakes. We have made mistakes. We're probably going, we're surely going to make more mistakes. God does not throw you away when you make a mistake. God wants good for you. He wants good for me. And when we make a mistake, it just will help us. We confess our mistake. If it's a sin, we confess our sin. We say, please, God, forgive me. I, I need to seek you more closely. I need to seek your will more closely. And he'll help us. And so we seek his will more closely. Next time we're stronger. Next time we won't make that kind of mistake again. We'll be more trustful of him, less trustful of our own cleverness. And so I think David learned some of these kind of lessons here, although this was a pretty, a pretty uh, dangerous moment in his experience. So let's trust in the Lord. He wants us to be successful. He's going to give us the help we need to be successful as we serve him. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. God is on your side. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, David made sort of a colossal mistake here. Could have easily have costed him his life. But Lord, you preserved him, and he learned more how important it was, uh, even more than he thought, to trust in you. And so he's going to be trusting, seeking to trust in you more uh, going forward here. There's a good thing there for David, and there's a good thing for us. May we trust in you more going forward from this day. May we not have to learn lessons by, uh, by feigning madness as David has had to do. So David sort of uh, makes a royal mistake but that's okay, Lord. You're on our side. You're on his side. Watch over us. Use us in your service. Thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God will be with us, and even when you mess up, God does not throw you away. He doesn't cast you away. God is glad to strengthen us and take us to the, the better place, the better place in our experience that he has for us. God be with you today.